Rugger's brain. Rugger is the best. He loves new adventures and tackling the new quest. He's Rugger. Last week on Rugger Tales. After a long and tiring journey, Rugger finally returned home triumphant, having collected the five magic balls. With the annual rugby fixture against the hideously repulsive, smelly mountain men of Mulu the next day, Rugger slept well, safe in the knowledge that with the magic balls returned and locked up in their rugby club rooms, his team would not lose. As Rugger was sitting in the changing rooms getting ready for the big match, his granddad came in to wish him well. Ah, how's the preparation going, my grandson? He said. Oh, I'm pumped, granddad. I've never felt better. Because with the magic balls, how can we fail? Rugger, there's something I need to tell you about the magic balls. Do you remember in your adventure last year when you came across a famous sheeper bee of the South? Yes, but what's that got to do with today's rugby game? Asked Rugger. Well, do you remember how you felt when you knew you had to tackle the sheeper bee? Oh, yeah, I was scared, very, very scared. But then I believed in myself. And, and, and I tried my hardest. And I beat that rotten sheeper bee, he told Grandad. That's right, that's right, said Grandad. You learned a great lesson that day. Believe in yourself and you will find the talent you seek from within. But Grandad, what were you going to tell me about the, the magic balls? Asked Rugger. Oh, yes, the balls. <laughs> Uh, oh, well, mm, uh, Raga, the magic balls aren't really magic at all. They're just plain old balls. Fancy that, huh? <laughs> Good luck. So, my adventure meant nothing at all, he thought. We're going to get slaughtered today against the mountain men. And then, for the final time this season, cue the Hooded Knight hologram. Sup, Rugger? Looks like you've heard the news, eh? Those magic balls aren't so magic after all. Oh, I don't want to play, replied Rugger. If the magic balls can't give us the skills, we don't stand a chance against the mountain men of Mulu. What the? Rugger. Check it, cuz. You already beat up on the Mountain Men for 19 episodes. And you know what? You did it all by yourself. You can beat them again today. You have the magic within you, bro. Do you... Do you really think so, Hooded Knight? Asked Rugger. I know so. When the chips are down, you gotta get another packet. Even the smallest rugbies can make a big difference. You're right! I did all those things myself, and I did beat those ugly mountain men plenty already this season. What's one more time? Shot, Rugger. You're my man. And always remember, even the smallest rugby can make the biggest difference. Well, my work here is done. Oh, maybe I can still get a surf before night school. Ladies. And with that, the hooded knight was gone forever. Oh, well, until the next adventure anyway. Meanwhile, next door in the mountain men of Mulu's changing room, the vile, stench-ridden creatures were having their own problems. What's the matter, boss? You look terrible. We failed on our mission. That interfering rugger, he got those magic balls back. There's just no way we're gonna beat the rugbies now. But, boss, maybe if we believe in ourselves, we can still beat them, Ruggabees! Sure, we may be dumber than them and we may lack moral fibre, but we are bigger than them! Squat! <laughs> of all the stupid, idiotic things you said this season, that has got to be the most stupid! Remember what our coach, the fiendish Fadi Fuba, taught us. 
Success is never about hard work or skill. It's all down to cheating and luck. <sighs> Fellas, we're done for. <laughs> and so, with five minutes until kickoff in the game of the season, the two teams made their way to the field. One team full of confidence, and the other already beaten. It seemed the Magic Balls had done their job after all. And that's the end of my tale, children. I hope you liked it. Liked it? I loved it. Yeah, there's a message there for all of us. Yeah. yeah. That's right, Fadi. Always believe in yourself, even when no one else will. Even the smallest people like us can make a big difference. And everyone has some magic inside them. So, find that little bit of magic in you and, hey, 